Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about XMLA endpoint and also I will show you how to refresh a single table in Power BI service. So generally when you refresh the data set in your Power BI service, it will do the full data set refresh. So it will refresh all the tables that is present in the data set. But with the help of XMLA endpoint, we can also refresh a single table or partitions in case of incremental refresh. So what does XMLA refer to? XMLA refers to XML for analysis. Since it uses XML language for analysis. Now what is XMLA endpoint? So XML endpoint is a communication protocol which helps to communicate between Power BI service and analysis services or any third party application. You will find this XML endpoint as a connection string in your workspace with the help of which you can connect to the third party applications like analysis services in SSMS and then you can do the read write operations on that Power BI data set. Now let's go to the Power BI service. In here I am going to refresh one of the table in this adventure works data set. Before that there are certain things to keep in mind. This XMLA endpoint is only accessible to the workspaces which are backed by premium capacity. And if you have the premium workspace, then you will have to enable the XMLA endpoint going to the admin portal. So let's go to the admin portal. So I will click on the settings icon and I will go down and here you can see this admin portal. In the admin portal tenant settings, you can either go down or you can directly search from here. So I'm going to search XMLA. See in the integration settings, it's showing allow XML endpoints and analyze in Excel with on-premises semantic models. So here it should be enabled. So after you enable XML endpoints from here, you can go to premium per user settings or premium settings. From here, you can go to this dataset workload settings. Here you can see XML endpoint. Here you will have to choose read write. By default, it will be read only. You can choose read write and click on apply if you want to refresh tables in Power BI service or do any kind of write operations. So after these two settings are done, you can go to your workspace home page. From here you can see this workspace settings. You can go here and in the license info, you will see this connection link. So it says use this link to connect third party software to this workspace. Copy the link and add it to your third party software. So we can copy this link. And now we can go to SSMS to access this XML endpoint. So let's open the SSMS and here I will connect to this analysis services and replace the server name with a connection string and click on connect. After it is connected in the databases, you can see all the data set that is present in the workspace. So I have these four reports in my workspace. So it's showing these four data sets. I'm going to refresh table in adventure works data set. So I will click on this plus icon. Now I will expand the tables and I look for the tables that I want to refresh. Suppose I want to refresh this person person table, right click and click on partitions. From here, I'm going to click here that is process. And in the mode, I can choose process full and click on OK. Now the refresh will start. So it has started and it is showing processing progress. So it will take some time depending on the data size. So it has succeeded and the status it is showing success 19,972 rows transferred. So if I go to the workspace here, if I open the refresh history, here it is showing via XMLA endpoint, start and end time and the status has completed. So it has refreshed that single table person person inside the adventure works data set. So this is how we refresh a single table in the Power BI data set. So that was it for this video. Hope you like this video and if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to be updated with my latest videos. Till then goodbye and thanks for watching the video.